What's up YouTube, Zombie Killer here. Doing a quick video. This is the last day of the beta. The message on the beta said so. But I managed to get all the uh, characters possible. Except for the the only character that I don't know is the ninth guy because he's special classified. So going off from the start, you got the Ruin with a gravity spike, which is a big huge slam ability. It does a about one room radius of effect. You can get shot down while you're doing the slam. You got overdrive, which will allow you to run two or three times the speed that you normally run. I think it's three, but I'm gonna say two to three just to make sure. And you got Outrider with the Sparrow. Um, the Sparrow is an explosive bow and arrow. Pretty good. Also, if you use gravity spikes, with this guy, you'll see this picture. If you use overdrive, you'll see him without it. If you use the sparrow, you'll see this picture of her. And also, um, the sparrow is the bow and arrow explosive. You got vision pulse, which will allow you to scan a whole area around the girl. Um, but it does pinpoint her on the main map too. And if you spy anybody, you'll see them through. Well, you got the Tempest, the um, Prophet with the only. Tempest, which is an electric gun charge shot. It takes a couple seconds to shoot, but it will one hit kill and it'll do about a whole room radius of friendly fire damage to any ally. So it'll go straight from one um, enemy allies to the next until it shocks them all. Then you got Glitch, which will teleport you back about couple seconds where you was if you stand still for too long though it will just teleport you to the same spot and if you die it'll just teleport you to the same spot that you are you got the battery with the War machine um, it's a grenade launcher it spreads out multiple grenades it'll explode on contact but if you miss an enemy then it will leave it on the ground great for artillery type fire then you got connect armor, which will make your girl um, immune to some damage, deflecting some bullets. Very small, very unnoticeable. And then you got the Seraph Beta with the Annihilator, which is a pistol that will one-shot people. But it got about the same fire away as the Tempest where it takes a couple seconds to charge so now you'll shoot instant but it takes a couple seconds for her to pull back the thing for you to shoot again then you got yeah, combat focus SK. which will pretty much double the points that you get for score streaks and stuff so if you was two kills away from a UAV you'll be able to get it in one kill if you use that um, then you got the Nomad with um, no the Hive, man. which is a grenade launcher that will shoot out nano swarm packets. If an enemy walk over that, they're instantly killed. There's no way to avoid it. If they walk over it, you can't outrun it, so you're dead, pretty much. You got Rejack. When your guy goes down, you'll be able to push L1 and R1 to bring yourself back up. It's an instant effect, which this is the only guy with an instant effect where it'll do it by itself. You don't have to trigger it. But then when you die, it'll trigger automatically if the bar is full. And you could choose to either hold square to just bleed out, or wait for the bleed out time, or revive yourself with L2 R2. If you die though, you decide to go down and just bleed out, then um, you will come back with half a bar. If you use it, all that bar will get used. Then you got the Reaper with the Scythe, which is a death machine for arm. It's about two to three bullets to kill, but it got 200 bullets, shoots pretty fast, so great for annihilating a large group of enemy. Then you got the Psycho Pass, which will allow you to split up into four different U's, which you'll be, your guy will go blue and the other three will be blue and it's pretty much they're all holograms pretty much 
where it tricks the opponents to thinking that they're real and they might attack them but you know they're AI controlled and they don't damage nothing but you know it's just a decoy pretty much to keep the enemies off from you then you got the Spectre with the Stealth, Ripper speed and which is a powerful knife that will one hit kill it got a huge knife lunge ability. And also you got the but act of camo which will make you go invisible a little bit. It's about as effective as advanced warfare camo. You know, you can still be seen, but you know if the enemy is not looking hard enough, you could probably sneak by them and get some stealth kills. And that's the eight out of the nine guys that we know so far, so that's everything that we know so far. And on top of that, we know that Team Deathmatch is back, Core is back, um, Domination's back, Demolition's back, Kill Confirm is back, Hardpoint's back, Capture the Flag is back, Search and Destroy back, Uplink is back from Advanced Warfare. And we got Safeguard, which is not like Black Call of Duty Ghost Safeguard. It's a new type of Safeguard where you gotta defend a robotic um, AI that cannot attack. And if it gets damaged with health drops, then you know it gotta charge itself by fixing. It's a couple seconds delay, about 10 seconds, I believe. Someone's in there, but yeah. Um, so that's a new game mode exclusive to Black Ops 3. We have not seen in any Call of Duty. And that's pretty much it for everything that's you know, back and all the guys and stuff. The rest you can find out by watching my other YouTube video that I show all the weapons and stuff. But this is all the new stuff that no, we can't learn without playing the beta. Or without waiting for the full game. So I'm Zombie Killer here, and I am out.